What's going on everybody? We're on the job site today and we have a little extra time. So we're gonna be starting a series where you guys give us scenarios and we tell you whether to use rubber or steel tracks. Okay, so the scenario is, hey Run1, we're working with a mini excavator and we're working in an area next to a busy road and we're pretty close to some businesses. The forecast should be sunny and we're working on concrete. What track should we use? Okay, so in this scenario, we definitely recommend using rubber tracks. We actually had a very similar job site recently. So we were working in a golf course's parking lot. Dry day, on concrete, and it was midday, so the course is pretty busy. Because it was so busy, we needed to keep the volume down to avoid interrupting the business. In this case, rubber tracks were amazing. They're much quieter than steel tracks. Also, because we were working in a parking lot, rubber tracks is a way to go, as we were able to avoid damaging the pavement the steel tracks would have. So in this scenario, we definitely recommend using rubber tracks and the model depends on which machine you're using. In our case, we had a John Deere 35G, so we used rubber tracks with a track size of 300 by 52.5 by 86. If you use this machine, you can check out the tracks we used on FordishTracks.com. We'll leave a link in the description, so definitely check it out. If you're looking for a place to buy some online, head over to FordishTracks.com. There you'll find an abundance of different tracks for tons of machines, and orders are shipped using same-day shipping. If you're looking for some heavy equipment rentals, head over to rentone.ca and I'm sure we'll be able to provide you with a machine for your job site. I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, ask away in the comments. And if it did help, be sure to like the video and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.